Hey everyone, I'm Army Gaming. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to a monster review on Morgs. The monster review you have all been waiting for. So unfortunately, I only have one slot unlocked on him. So I'm going to be giving him a level 3 rune. Okay, I hope you guys don't mind. But that is the best I can afford because I am not down to unlock those slots. So let me level up this monster and then we can go over my thoughts on him. How well I think he performs in the meta. I am not in a high trophy league, so I am going to be able to pull off quite a bit of good amount, amount of battles with them, so that'll be fun. And for those of you wondering how I'm able to click and hold, there is an option. If you click on the gears icon on the top right, there is an option that you can just click and hold, and there's an option so new skills do not pop up. So you can literally go from 0 to 100 very easily. And so here we have Morgs fully leveled up. Alright, his traits. At rank 0, he's immune to torture. And let me just say, this is a really good trait. Right now that the mythic monsters are being released and they have such high crazy stats, immunity to torture is so great because they can't be taken down with percentage damage, so the only way to kill these monsters is with raw damage output. At rank 1 he's immune to blind, which I'm not the biggest fan of, yes it helps against total blind, but I mean, if you look at the mythic monsters, you already have possession out there, you already have stun, you already have freeze, so immunity to some sort of control would have been better, and at rank 3 you get dark protection. At the start of the battle, applies dark protection to our allies, monsters block out 50% of incoming damage from dark attacks. I guess that's nice for your allies, since you're dark you already block dark damage. So I guess it's nice for your allies, but it's also not one of the greater um, traits you can have I think. So in terms, of all the, in terms of the traits, I think from all the mythic monsters he has one of the not so great ones I guess, with the exception of immunity to torture. That is, that is awesome. Alright, skills, let's go over them all. I'm not 12, deals low dark damage to an enemy, applies nightmares to an enemy. Zero cooldown is the best part about this skill. Right there is Guy Daigo, he's the Golden Legends past monster, he can activate cooldowns. Hey, at least you're not affected by that, and you apply nightmares. A uh, watch to the end, applies 3 turn death countdown to all enemies. I am not a fan of this. Death countdown, in my opinion, has never been that good, unless you can stop for the whole dura du duration of the game. And right now, you can remove positive effects, quite negative effects quite easily. This doesn't work against Dodge Area. If there's a Megaton monster, this doesn't help you out, right? With other Mythic monsters, if you face a Dodge Area, if you face a Megaton monster, you literally blast them with an AOE attack and you'll OTK them. But watch to the end, all you do is apply a, a Death Countdown. That doesn't do anything. Is cool to be bad. Deals low dark damage to our enemies. So again, zero cooldown is the best part of this skill. And here is your AOE. So the biggest advantage would be against a Hyperia, right? Hyperia is a Megaton Earth monster. Although Hyperia might be able to blast you back because it has like damage mirror. Um, so, so be careful with that. Morg Shout deals low dark damage to an enemy, applies guard down and three turn death countdown. Again, I get that they're going with the death countdown mechanic and he does look like a Reaper. He has a really cool monster design. But with that being said, not a big fan of the curse countdown and the guard down. The guard down, however, I am a fan of. So future attacks, whatever monster has a guard down, future attacks will be landing on that monster. Alright, but let's get into some better skills. Morgs Fest deals moderate dark damage to all enemies, applies negate healing and daze to all enemies. So negate healing, the targets can't be healed, and this is really useful because it actually counters relics as well. So if a relic would have healed the enemy monster, whoop, now it's negated. And then the daze, that reduces enemy accuracy and damage output by 25%. But what's even better than a negate healing is right here, a reverse healing. Prank your mom deals heavy special damage to an enemy, applies reverse healing and nightmares. If you've watched my channel for a while, you have heard me say how much I love the reverse healing mechanic. I've always been a reverse healing, and right now it's even more important. I think when when we see some of some of the relics are pretty darn crazy. If we here, I'll just show you my reliquary, and I'll show you some of the relics that have like healing potential. Even if we just look at um some like some of these right here. When the turn ends, if the warrior's life is below 50%, all allies are healed by 23,000 points. Well, instead of healing 23,000 points, they're actually going to lose 23,000 points of damage. Even if we go through some of the armors, um, I think Morg's armor, after being damaged by skill at the start of the battle, gives armor. Oh no, there are some armors that actually heal. So instead of receiving all of that in, in, the, in the form of healing, you'll literally take all that damage. So I love reverse healing. Reverse healing is a mechanic I am a fan of. But does that make Morgs a good monster? Well, let's see what else he has to offer. So feed, skills, change skills. So um, we have Prank Your Mom. Support from Team Morgs deals low dark damage to all enemies, applies guard down and nightmares. So if I compare if I compare these two skills, it's cool to be bad and support from Team Morgs, they deal the same damage. The only advantage of support from Team Morgs is the guard down and the nightmares. 
So again, guard down makes so incoming attacks always hit, and then nightmares, this is just damage over time, it'll also remove stamina. Uh, what do you want to run? It really depends, right? It's cool to be bad, look at the accuracy, guaranteed hit, but also like, spammable, and you'll need this against cooldown activation. However, if you're not facing cooldown activation, obviously run support from Team Orgs. Alright, let's see, I'm not 12, is that all of it? Oh, he also has Think Big, applies Dragon Hater to an ally. Honestly, it's a setup skill. If you're facing giant monsters, you can set it up. Somehow, it'll it'll work, but um, I'm not really a fan of it. So, yeah, I'm not a, I'm not the biggest fan of this monster. <laughs> uh, Nightmares. It, I think it's always to your benefit to have a zero cooldown skill, but since you can fight the enemies and you know what you're dealing with, you can always just swap out. So, honestly, I think between the two AoEs, support from Team Morgs and Morgs Fest, I would rather you take Morgs Fest for the negate healing. That way... Whatever enemy mega megaton monster you face or whatever like at least you can hit them with the gate feeling although most of the time You'll probably hit them with the reverse healing first But yeah guard down nightmares days, and then I guess I need a single target attack, which is my strongest one. Is it? Is it prank your mom special base, and then I guess I have a dark base and Remember to swap in a zero cooldown skill whenever you need it the ultimate deals heavy dark damage to enemies reverse healing and Three turn death count into enemies the best part of this. It's an aoe reverse healing so with that being said, armor, um, if you have Morg's armor, give him Morg's armor since it benefits him, right? After being damaged by its skill, deals 5,725 points of dark damage. At the start of the battle, he gets armor. If not, just honestly utilize whatever you have, Nobotus' armor, whatever it may be. Um, since I have a ranked up Nobotus' armor, that's what I... Oh wait, Centurion has that, I want Centurion to keep that. So you know what, I'll give my own armor to myself. And in terms of sword, give him whatever you have. Um, the advantage of him being able to apply Nightmares is that you can actually give Omniscient Sword. After damaging with a skill, if target has Nightmares, deals Dark Damage, and it removes Stamina. So, this can serve as a way to drain some extra Stamina. So, that being said, this is the team we're going to be using to utilize Morgs. And look, another Morgs. Let's fight myself. And they even have the Morgs icon. Alright, let's fight. So, my Morgs goes first. I am going to do, um, let's see, Dodge Area. So... Immune to freeze, immune to torture. Well, let's do Morgs Fest nonetheless. No, let's do one of these. Negate healing, support from Team Morgs. All right, let's do support from Team Morgs because everyone got hit with... Okay, because he got hit with Nightmares, my, my Nishin Sword activated and I was still able to drain. That's funny. I used to think that everyone needed to be hit with Nightmares for it, for it to work. But no, since they still took damage, I drained their stamina. Um, Here we're going to do a Nazile Army just for fun to get myself stamina regen. And then he can't wait. He has 52 stamina. Let's see what he does. Watch to the end. All right, Centurion. See, he did. He did the the three turn death countdown. So okay, I don't care about that. I thought I had artifact though. How is he landing that on me? Do I not have the artifact tree? Does that is that come later? I swear. Sometimes I don't even know what I have or don't have. All right, let's go ahead and do workshop heuristics. Damage blocked. Okay. Cool. Cool. Um, devious protection. Immunity to control. He's gonna have to recharge. Oh, Ice Claw. Um, okay. Um, Prank Your Mom, Morgs Fest. Applies Negate Healing and Daze to all enemies. I wonder what happens if the enemy monster has Reverse Healing and Negate Healing. Hmm, that's an interesting thought. Um, let's go ahead and do... Let me see if they have any relics that heal. Armor of Duty, Shikugan Sword, Ice Trap, and nothing. So I guess we'll just do Morgs Shout. Bam. And then we'll do Half Death. We'll target Morgs. We'll hit we'll times 4 speed. He recharged... Um, I think I thought I could get rid of negative effects. But let's do um, Carol's. Let's do another Morgs Fest. All right, that's one monster down. We will do um, Nazio Army. Get rid of my negative effects. Um, Gaze Morgs Fest on me. Um, let's go ahead and do. Let's see the death countdown actually take effect. Um, let's attack you over there. See if I would have had negate healing and I do that skill. Ooh, target can't be healed. No negate healing. If I had reverse healing and I do that skill. I would have taken out 75% of my own HP, which is why I am a fan of that skill in particular. All right, so now it's three against one. All right, do I have single target attacks? Single target attack, boom. Um, this is an auto kill, I love that, but we're not gonna use that. Recharge, um, I don't want to AOE single target. I don't want to reinstate the death countdown, so we'll just recharge. Let's see if the death countdown can actually kill him or if she's gonna remove it. So one turn and she's dead with death countdown. Oh, it worked! Woo! Death Countdown actually worked! Cool! So, bye-bye. Alright. I wish this monster would have been more powerful. Like, he has the monster design to look like an evil Wormlad. Because remember, Wormlad, he's a dragon killer himself. He's a dragon slayer. And this monster is trying to be a dragon slayer too. 
So it would have been cool to have both of them as like dragon slayers. Um, with that being said, let's take on the base on the middle. And let's see how well we do against this base. Does anyone have healing relics? No healing relics. So this is a good example of where I can just do morgue shout. No, which is the which is the nightmares? Okay, um, support from team orgs. Nightmares everyone and drain their stamina. Watch. Times one speed. Support from team orgs. Alright, guard down, nightmares, nightmares. Nishin sword kicks in, drains their stamina. And just like that, 128, 128, 128. Awesome. Um, we'll go half death on you. And then they're gonna have to recharge because they're low on stamina, except for the guy in the middle. Let's do workshop heuristics. Recharge. He does, um, he's single targeted. So the, the, the reason I brought Centurion is just so Morgz doesn't take any damage. I'll hit them with another AoE skill, Morgz Vest. Keep in mind, the reason he's looking very weak, look, I drained the stamina again. The reason he's looking very weak is just because I'm only running a level three strength rune on him because I didn't want to devote anything else because I don't think I'll ever be ranking up this monster because for sure there's going to be better mythics in the game and there's other mythics I'm going to want to rank up instead. Um, but with that being said, it, if you're in a lower league, as you can see, I'm having quite fun with them in champion one league so he's been working out but let's see if, oh let's see if, maybe maybe armor claw maybe armor claw might run the healing skill and i can show the reverse healing mechanic all right so i'm gonna jump right into a i'm gonna jump right into support from team orgs to to remove their stamina i am gonna do a what do i want to do let's do a pain outbreak all right armor kicked in monster review all right so he increases life exponentially I'm going to do workshop heuristics. Uh, how about jingle ball curves? Um, no, let's do this. Let's see what I land. Days, days, days. All right. So fury mask, lame. Um, soul shattering, lame. Okay, life banner. Ooh, what does life banner do? Life banner, when the turn starts, if a random's ally maximum, oh, random increase. Mm, that doesn't do anything for me. All right, negate healing and days. I want him to do, let's give him the reverse healing just in case he does the heal skill. Oh, I drained his stuff though. Um, let's go Nazale army All right, he's recharged. So he's not running remember to subscribe elite sea troops Shadow wanderer evasion and um, let's go workshop heuristics All right, let's see damage was reverse healing nightmares days. I want him to run the heal skill I hope he's running the heal skill um, Let's do morgues fest just for oh, but now it's negate healing too. Well, so I guess I get to find out what happens So let me just recharge so, minus 100% healing, nightmares. Let's see. Save Rossi God. Darn it. Alright, I think we need to face someone that specifically does it. If anything, I'll hit him with the, the curse countdown. Instant rest. Ah, he has the healing, so I want to hit him now. Alright, let's do behavioral Christmas tree. Let's do half death. Sorry, Armor Claw, I gotta kill you now. Ooh, so close. Pursue your passions. Damage increase. Pursue your passion. Was that the heal skill? That might have been the heal skill, but nothing happened since he has negate healing. Does negate healing override reverse healing? Is that what happened? Support from team orgs. All right, he's done for. All right, ancestral bite. Okay, so this is gonna be good. Um, recharge and a recharge. All right, so damage boost, stamina regen, and life regen. All right, perfect. So prank your mom. Check this out. Prank your mom. Reverse healing, and look, minus, look at that, minus 16,000 from regen. I love it. I love that so much. So the reverse healing mechanic, huge, huge, huge fan of it. Huge fan of it. So I will just recharge. I'll let him keep his reverse healing. Um, let's give him this. Guard down. Let's give him more express. So I'll negate his healing this time around. And I guess we also get to check whether or not um, it overrides the other one. So recharge, recharge. All right, so he has he has negate healing, right? Oh, he has evasion. Darn it! So I can't do anything to him. Oh man! All right, we'll just do this. Instant rest again. Okay, so recharge. I guess just prank your mom. Reverse healing, recharge, and he loses life. That's just that's honestly my favorite part of it. Just the fact that he loses life from trying to heal. Um, like I said, it works really well against monsters that have relics. It works really, really well against them. Like, and I've mentioned this example multiple times. I use um, I use Nazael with Altus's amulet. Ah, that's the one I should have showcased. Nazael with with the amulet right here. Relics. Look at that. When the word no, right here. When the turn starts, a warrior's life is below fifty percent. The warrior heals by sixty-two thousand points. Imagine having reverse healing and you just lose all of that. 
It's happened so many times to me, it's insane. Um, there's a Naza out here, so let me take him on. Maybe he's wearing the amulet, maybe not, because it's lower levels. Um, kinetic amulet, Jakugan charging banner, nope. So this will be a regular battle. Someone's always there. Um, Morgs fast. <clears throat> Sorry, support from Team Morgs. And then we'll do the 20% pain outbreak. And then recharge with Santerion. And then Morgs Fest. Bam. We will hit with a half death. We will. Oh, he did have revival. We'll do workshop heuristics. Um, we will do Morgs Shout. Guard down. Pain outbreak. Bonus armor kicks in and recharge and recharge and die with nightmares recharge. Oh, revive the allies. That was cool to see. I rarely ever see that. Um, we will do Nazale Army, and then we'll do a support from Team Morgs. And yeah, that was cool to see. I, I've never seen anyone actually run that skill and actually revive both allies like that. So that was that was interesting. Um, Havoc, uh, Pain Outbreak. Let's do that. This how to kill them. All right. And then a Morgs Fest to end the game off. And there we go. So as you can see, at the lower leagues, obviously most monsters can be used. And specifically because I'm using Santerion to absorb all the attacks and I have a Reviver, I'm able to kind of showcase them a little better than most players. But as always, just kind of use whatever you have in your disposal. Um, let me just find someone that can actually heal so I can do the reverse healing mechanic. That's all I want to do. Um, and I don't really have anyone, but I guess I'm facing a guy Daigo. So this will be an interesting little battle. Mythic versus Mythic. Who will win? Let's see. Um, cover the world in darkness. Possession. Ground abatement. All right. I am going to do... So you have... You're going to absorb everything. So this is where, where I'm telling you where the AoEs kind of fail you unless you have a lot of damage output. So I am going to go ahead and go for the death countdown. And then I'm going to go with the... Let's say I remove my negative effects, right? Moves all negative effects from all allies because I think Sanseion is possessed. So let's do this. True power. Bodice armor kicks in. Let's go ahead and do heuristics. I love this for the random positive effects. So I got cooldown protection. Nice. Total blind, eternal night. All right. Now that the... All right. He still has curse countdown. And now that the Megatons is gone, I can go ahead and do my Jakugan. So, or sorry, my Nishin Sword. So there we go. Everyone lost their stamina, but then they recovered it. All right, time to rage. Everyone is focused on Santerion, which is perfect. I am going to do Pain Outbreak. Do I need to do? I don't think so. Half Death, I could do. Whoops, I didn't need to hit him since he's going to die with Curse Countdown. So when you know none of the enemy monsters can remove negative effects, that's a good time for the Curse Countdown. Um, let's run this. Ooh, he cleansed. Santerion, you betrayed me. You betrayed me. All right, so does anyone have healing? Um, well, they all have healing, but does anyone have an extra healing relic? Nope. Uh, this is where Prank Your Mom will come in handy. Let's use it on... Um, ooh, I guess we'll use it on the tankiest one. So here, Nishin, Sword, Prank Your Mom. So cover the world in darkness. All right, yeah, he has regen. Let's do... I, see, I don't want to remove... I don't want to remove the healing anymore. I really don't. Removes positive effects. No, so I'm just going to recharge... Time to rage. Ooh, I lost a monster. All right. Let's go ahead and do negate healing. No, Morgs shout. Morgs shout. All right. True power. All right. Just to see this. Bam! Minus 47,000 just from him having life regen. Eternal Knight. Morgs armor. Recharge. Stop its fire time. And this is why I said having a zero cooldown skill when you're facing uh, cooldown activation monsters. Super useful. Otherwise, you're going to be in a world of hurt. Um, so fortunately, no, I got hit with CDA, so I'm not going to win this one. Uh, that was my bad for not bringing zero cooldown. Yeah, that was my bad. If anything, I almost killed Izel. Oh, I killed Izel. Woo. All right. Maybe I can survive. Oh, I brought him back. That's hilarious. That's hilarious. All right. I'm not going to continue this battle because it is, uh, it is a uh, pointless. Oh, maybe I'll do this on myself. Oh man, that would have been funny. I just want to ult myself now. All right, can I alt myself? Oh, come on. All right, that would have been a good way to end for him to literally finish himself off. All right, well, I think with that being said, I'm out of attack. So this has been a monster review on Morgs. Please let me know what you guys think about him in the comments below. Let me know whether or not you have this monster. Any and all thoughts in the comments below. Thank you very much, and remember to subscribe.